inviting a ten-year-old to his house and bribing him to come back with these. Heidi? Yes. With Heidi. Ah! Are you expecting the doctor home? Hello, Dr. Markin. Hello, Charlie. Oh. Charlie wants to see the bees. Bribes were not discussed. Oh, uh, I, I didn't think that. You said you liked Heidi, Mum. Oh, I did. Uh, the film. Charlie Temple. I wish you so much. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry if he's been a nuisance. He hasn't. He can come any time. He's telling them secrets. He never used to keep things from me. Hide from your neighbours as much as you please. But everything that happens, you must tell the bees. Something like that. It's a kick though, isn't it? I thought it was a local superstition. Oh, there's plenty of those. The bees actually do start to recognise voices. And footsteps sometimes. The vibrations. I'm sorry, I don't have any spoons. My father auctioned almost everything before he died. He expected you to live here without spoons. He expected me to sell the house. Probably would be the sensible thing to do. He'd be proud though, no? Have you taken over his practice? I think he'd be surprised. Yeah. Dunloth might take a while getting used to a lady doctor. It's a little modern for him. I like that about it. This town has always seemed outside of time to me, like Tam O'Shanter might sit in the bus stop alongside the mill workers. <laughs> <laughs> 